Dear students, welcome to online class on digital image processing. In this video, we are going to discuss the components of digital image processing system. In the introductory class, we have defined digital image processing as the manipulation of digital images by means of a processor. Now you can guess what are the essential things required for the manipulation of digital images. Yes, mainly we need a computer hardware and software to process the digital images. Now let us look at these components in detail. The various components required for image processing may be represented in a block diagram form. Now you may pause this video and note down the block diagram. Ok, the various components required for digital image processing are image sensors that is cameras specialized image processing hardware, computer that is processor, hard copies, image displays, image processing software, mass storage and the network. Now let us look at these components one by one. The first one is image sensors. Image sensors are present in image acquisition devices or in simple words they are present in cameras. In the second figure we can see a grayscale scene element with varying intensity. When the light falls on this object, it reflects the light according to its intensities on its surface. This reflected light is made to pass through an imaging system which is nothing but lens. This forms an image of the scene element on the sensor arrays. The image which falls on the sensor array is an analog image. The image sensors are responsible for converting this analog image into digital. Each image sensor generates a pixel. So the number of pixels in an image depends on the number of image sensors. For example, in a 20 megapixel camera, there will be 20 mega image sensors. This process of picking the discrete samples is known as image sampling. When we examine the image sensors closely, we can observe two main parts. The first one is a physical device that is image sensor which is sensitive to the energy radiated by the object. So the sampling is done by these image sensors. And the other one is a digitizer which converts the electrical output of the physical sensing device into digital form. The process of converting the electrical output of the sensor into digital form is known as quantization. Let us next consider the specialized image processing hardware. We know that the hardware circuitry is faster than the software for any specific task. In some cases, Image pre-processing is to be done at a high speed in which software implementation normally fails. Hence, we go for hardware implementation of front-end subsystem such as field programmable gate arrays and these field programmable gate arrays can perform faster than the conventional processors. For example, noise introduced in microscopic images can be reduced by averaging over several images by using hardwired ALU that is field programmable gate arrays. The next one is computer or a processor. Usually the image processing is expressed in algorithmic form and these algorithms can be implemented either by using general purpose computers or by using dedicated processors. Normally the general purpose computers are used in off-time image processing applications and dedicated processors are used in real-time image processing applications where the processing speed is an important criteria. Software In the previous section, we have seen that image processing is done using computer algorithms. Now, these algorithms can be implemented in various programming languages and softwares. For example, Java, Python and OpenCV 
are the widely used programming languages for image processing applications. We can also use softwares like MATLAB and LabUse. The next is mass storage devices. Storage of digital images for processing purpose falls into three categories. The first one is short term storage. This short term storage is used during processing. Here the images are stored either in computer memory that is especially in RAM or specialized boards called frame buffers. The second category of mass storage falls under online storage for relatively fast and frequent recall of images. Here the images are stored in the hard disk of the computer. And the last category is archival storage. This is used for massive images with infrequent access. Example for archival storage are CD and DVDs. The next component required in the image processing system is image displays. Normally TV monitors, LCD and LED screens are used to display the images. The hard copy, laser printers, film cameras, thermal printers, inkjet printers, CDs, DVD etc are used to make hard copies of the images. Film provides highest possible resolution because it is analog in nature. Images may be presented using OHPs or LCDs. The networking. Availability of bandwidth is an important factor in image transmission due to large amount of data inherent in the images. Image transmission is a part of image processing system in satellites, robotics, telemedicine, etc. So in this video, we have discussed the various components of image processing system.